This story took place a few months ago. I was chilling in my room texting on my phone when this girl sent me a text message which went like Announcement. There will be this big talent show on Friday at City of Hope. Which was a girls school by the way. The amount is 15 kwacha and is from 8 o'clock to 4 p.m. All members are welcome and everybody should come with us. Blah 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 blah. I also recall that being a Monday I had to wait 5 days and that week I was suffering from intense social anxiety. So even though I was pretty excited... I wasn't quite sure I was really gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Reason being, I wasn't that financially set, you know what I'm saying? See, going to such a place, you can't just show up broke AF, okay? There needs to be just something about you. Did I mention it was a girl's school? Not like that's important, but you just really gotta come with something, bro. Just to enjoy, you know what I'm saying? But my parents are not the type of people you could go to and be like, I'm asking for 50 bucks. My G, the way my mom will look at you. Um, mommy, I'm asking for 50 kwacha. Mm, okay, what's the 50 kwacha for? Um, you see, there's this party that I want to go to at a girl's school. What did you just say? Um, we have been struggling. We give you place to sleep. We give you place to eat. We give you place to shit. But still you want our money so that you can go and party with some girls? Uh, Mind actually, you, no. Please, uh, don't raise my BP. Okay, go to your room. Just go to your room. To and my... take off your belt. Huh? Take off your belt and lie on your bed. I'm... But what? Yes, I mean it right now. Go. But they just asked for some money. Why are you beating me? That's it. Sleep there. Sleep there. Ah! Mommy! Mommy, please! Come on! Stop! Mommy, please! Come on! Okay, of course they wouldn't react like that, but they're pretty sensitive about money. And besides, I had upcoming exams, so there was no way in hell they would even let me go party at a girl's school. So... I was on my own. I went to my piggy bank. I took out all my money, which was almost like 20 kwacha, by the way. So just then I started to budget the way on the bus, right? The bus bill was 5 kwacha and the party ticket was 15 kwacha. So already I would have used up all of my money. And to make things worse, I wouldn't have any money to be able to come back home from City of Hope. <sighs> what to do? what to do screw it i am good i won't pretend like i didn't hesitate at one point i even encouraged myself to just save up the money and do something productive like run this youtube channel properly on the long run but a uh, side of me was like bro 20 bucks won't get you nowhere just go enjoy yourself and besides i need some stories for these animations so I made up my mind. I'm definitely going. So it's been two days, right? And I came across my boy Derek at school. Sup, Derek? Whom I asked if he was going to the party. Bro, this boy spazzed me up. He was like, don't stress it. My brother, I'm going to show up in a car. I'm going to come with some cousins. I'm going to make sure we're going to drive you to and from the party. And yes, we're going to bring some Nando. We're going to bring some drinks. We're going to get some of the honey. Which meant I wouldn't even have to use my 20 bucks. Huh? Nice. So I'm like, bet. <laughs> It's gonna be late. Now it's the day of the party, right? And I woke up early and I am gas, bro. I give Derek a call, of which he was like he wouldn't be able to make it there early. His mom would be using the car and he had a few shits to do at home. So no cap, I was disappointed, but it ain't something to cry about. So I even changed my mind about going there. I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm save up for that new microphone, you know what I'm saying? I've been went to the kitchen to make myself breakfast. Now, as I'm in the kitchen trying to put some bread between my butter, I look through the window, and it was my girlfriend, who was my neighbor at the time, by the way. So, I looked to her, and she looked amazing, my G. Long hair, eyes drip, she had it all. She was just looking on point. I had never seen her that dripped out, bro. This was the first time I had ever seen her this dripped out in my life. And then I was like, fuck it, I am good. I hop into the shower and then 30 minutes later, I am at City 
of hope. And at this point, I had already lost five bucks on my bus bill. And I was about to use the last 15 kwacha to buy the ticket. You know, you can't get in there without a ticket. It's a talent show, so... Yeah. So I get to the attendance and then I give them all my money, the whole 15 kwacha. And then one of them asked me, hey, yo, where is your mask? Of which I was like, oh shit, I forgot my mask at home. Sorry, kid, no mask, no entry. Oh, come on. Like, I can see inside. Everybody has their mask off. Who is wearing their mask there? Point at one person who is wearing their mask there. Uh good point uh go get in so i get in i meet this boy moses i meet my boy nehemiah who showed up a little bit later and from there i proceeded to have a good time this was also the first time that i had ever performed on stage that's right i rapped with my boy nehemiah on stage in front of all those people we also watched other performers and i met my girlfriend and her friends and i just really had a good time i tried calling up my boy derek a few times but he didn't show up so i had none to drink that day and a downside is i had to go i had to go early because i didn't have any transport money so I walked, I walked, I walked all the way from City of Hope all the way up to Chilanga Estates, my G. Like, I know, that was something. It's a very long distance. That's uh, three miles, but what can you do? I'm a, I'm a go-getter. That, that's 10 kilometers. So one step at a time, one foot after another, I went. Did I have a good time? Yeah, kind of. It was kind of fun. Would I do it again? Well, probably not. My feet hurt for like two days straight, so I don't think I'll ever do it again. Now, uh moral of the story. That day could have gone so much better if I was prepared for the occasion. So if you ever got the opportunity to show up to some big party, then make sure you prepare well. Don't rely on others. And if you feel like your money would have been used to be spent on something much better, something more productive to help you with making money or fame or anything that you're working towards, just go for it. Be responsible. Hey, <laughs> I know. Very long moral today. Mm -mm -mm. What's up fam? Thanks so much for reaching the end of this video and man, just so you know I made this video in a hurry man <laughs> Reason being I must be drained from the last animation I was making because damn I'm animating twice a week which means I have to be very consistent with these animations So for the fact that I've been animating for like two weeks straight man, like I have burnout man like this video was made in a straight hurry and I'm just so grateful that you reached the end of this video, man. Like, thanks. So, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Like if you haven't. Share this video with a friend. I love you, and I'll be seeing you again next week.